Often unusual jobs like this are quickly done. And what could provide a more suitable plaster base for such a job? Scrap pieces like this always find their logical niche. This one came from the ceiling. The curve is scored on the back, then on the front face. A master craftsman and a perfect arch. Any movement or vibration of a building creates unusual strain at corners, so they are reinforced with cornerite. It is stapled or nailed to the lap, never to the framing. Exterior angles are reinforced with metal corner bead, nailed into the studs. Its edge also determines the plaster thickness for the two intersecting walls. Well, here's the architect. He rigidly inspects his lathing and plastering because he knows that the finished walls and ceilings constitute about 70% of the visible room. They must be pleasing and enduring. But a beautifully decorated surface can be no better than the lath foundation and errors are easily corrected now. End joints are staggered, laths are held in moderate contact and solid against the framing with five nails neither under nor over driven. Wall strength is vitally related to plaster thickness so he measures the wood grounds placed around all openings and at the base as well as corner bead to assure himself of the full one half inch plaster thickness so necessary for lasting crack free walls. Ah, lovely. Well, maybe just a little off here. Already Andy's suffering delusions of grandeur. An architect certainly wouldn't approve